Harvard has had the land for a little over 100 years. The original land uh, donation was in 1907. The focus of is primarily focused on research and education over the years. So originally it was a forestry school. In the last 25 or 30 years, the focus has been on forest ecology. So this is a fairly new course for us. It, we try to get an, a good mix of students, undergraduates and graduates, and some are biology majors, but many come from other fields as well. A lot of time spent outdoors. We have an interesting mix of science and art and rural planning, so lots of different topics, but all touching on the use of forests in one way or another. I think it's totally awesome to have an entire week just to focus on one topic. Uh, during a school year, it's so fast-paced that you don't have much time to absorb the material. I think there's very few opportunities where we can learn about what's in front of us. Yesterday, we did a class on tree identification and learned about how to identify different trees based on its bark, its leaf composition and color as well as smell. And we also learned how to diagnose trees that might be ailing or in the process of dying. For the researchers that are based here, they can literally go outside their door and be in this outside laboratory. Often, scientists have good laboratory facilities where they're located, but they have to travel substantial distances to their field sites. And there's no way around that, but it's a tremendous advantage if you don't have to do that all the time. I read through the biographies of the students that came this year and it was interesting how many of them had not spent much time outdoors. Um, and so one of the things we always hope for with all of our programs is to generate, even in the short time that they're here, some love and interest in the outdoors and in protecting the outdoors. Being able to have that personal experience with the world um, that we're exploring has been absolutely a privilege. Just uh, getting to walk around and enjoy the fresh air, the exercise, I and mean, there's just so few options with our increasingly urban environment to explore an amazing resource like this.